tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. Hello everyone, this is Craig from OrgSpring and in this video I'm going to show you the new Google Chrome extension from Google called Office Editing for Docs, Sheets, and Slides. You can see the image here on the screen. Don't worry about the URL, it's a huge URL that I won't even bother repeating to you. But inside the post that goes along with this video and this blog post, you will be able to link directly to this Google Chrome extension on the Google Chrome App Store and download it directly. So let me explain first uh, what it is. So previously, when you had uh, used Google Docs or Google Drive, when using Microsoft products, there was a little bit of an issue getting Microsoft into Google. Now, of course, Google allows you to upload any file type, including Microsoft file types like the XLS or XLSX, the Google Excel format, or a Doc or a DocX format, or your PowerPoint formats. Now, Google allows you to upload them and save them in your drive, and you can even share those documents. But if you wanted to edit those documents directly, you had to first convert those Microsoft proprietary formats into a Google format and then do your editing in Google. And in the process, you would lose some functionality and often you would lose some formatting, although Google has made a lot of improvement to the product over the last few months, let alone the last few years. But that was also a problem because if you existed only in Microsoft, that meant you had to convert your document to Google, do your edits in the Google document, then save the file back to a Microsoft format and either email that or then save it again to your drive and then email it out to your people. This is not exactly an efficient system because you're creating multiple copies of the same file, which makes the potential for error higher or the potential to use the wrong file higher. Also, it's a little bit slower. You have to create all those extra documents. You have to spend time converting. And in the process, if you have really special charts or really special pivot tables or data, that information is not going to make the conversion. So it was problematic in the past. But now, what we're going to talk about in this video and what the post, discuss, the post discusses is the new extension called Office Editing for Docs, Sheets, and Slides. And the thing that's really cool about this is this extension allows you to upload your Microsoft Office document files, Excel files, and PowerPoint slides directly into Google and then to edit them directly in the original format. You do not need to convert these Microsoft documents into Google format. You can keep them directly in the Microsoft format, edit them online without having the Microsoft software, and then save them into their original format and then share them directly. Never do you need to convert it. So. We're going to discuss a little bit of how that's done. I'm going to show you right from the beginning how to install it and how to use it. And then I'll show you a little example of me working on it as well. So we'll jump into that now. So the first thing you're going to do is click the link in the description of this video. Or if you're reading along in the post, click the button that brings you to the extension. And that will bring you right here. And you'll see this here, Office Editing for Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Now from time to time, Google has been known to change where things are located on its site. So if you don't find that this links up exactly, and we'll try to keep up with making sure it does, but if for some reason it doesn't link exactly where you need it to go, all you'll do is pull this information and do a Google search. Office Editing for Docs, Sheets, and Slides, and maybe throw in the word Chrome extension after that and it'll bring you directly to this. Once you do that, you're just going to click on this button here. You'll notice it's a free extension. It's going to check to make sure it fits with your extension and you will hit add. And you'll notice, uh, of course, this will require you to be using the Chrome browser. And then once that's done, you'll get a notice here that it has been added to Chrome and you can manage your extensions in the window. You'll also see a notice here that it has been added to Chrome. Now I have a lot of extensions up here. So typically what you could do is click on your little drop down and you could just go into settings just to make sure that it's been installed. And down here under advanced, I'm sorry, over here under extensions, 
you will see a list of all the different extensions that you have. And you'll notice here, Office Editing for Docs, Sheets, and Slides is enabled. So we know that it's active. So we'll just close this out and go back to our original area. So now, if we want to upload a document, close this window, and what I'll do is go to my drive, and I'm already logged in. And then what we'll do is we will just click the new button and then click file upload. And then we'll navigate to a Word document. I have one right here that we can use. Right here, testimonials for OrgSpring. You'll see over here that it's testimonials for OrgSpring.docx. That's the most recent uh, org, I'm sorry, that's the most recent Microsoft document format. So we can just click on that. And what you'll notice is that opens this in the extension that allows us to edit this directly. And you'll get this box that says Office Editing for Docs, Sheets, and Slides. You can now edit Word, Excel, PowerPoint files directly from the hard drive. And it'll give you another message there. You can click this link to learn more. We'll just click got it. Now, I'm going to open this same document in Word to show you that it is exactly the same format. And that will come into view right here. Here is the full Microsoft Word. I'm running this on a Mac, so it may look slightly different than what you see if you're running on a PC. But you'll see here, just a quick, easy document. And you'll see that's mirrored exactly the same here in this document as well. So you can make any of your changes. So for example, let's say we wanted to get rid of this. Add something else in here. We can do that. And the beauty about this new system is that you don't even need to save the document. Google Docs will save this for you automatically as you're working. Now you will notice, again, that I am editing directly the docx, the word format here, also evidenced by the icon logo they use. Now you may see some changes up here. So for example, if we click here, it'll tell us that we're in office compatibility mode. That means we're working in and editing in the Microsoft Office format directly. If I wanted to collaborate with somebody in real time and have them collaborate on the document too, you'll still need to convert that into a Google Doc. But as far as this being a Word document, we don't have to do anything. We don't even have to save it. It is purely saved as we go along, completely done. So what you'll notice is if I close this, or even if I make an additional change, this is going to be saved. You'll notice up here, saving, and then all changes saved in Drive. I can close this document, come back to my Google Drive, It'll tell me that here is the document again, and then it's showing me a Word format. You can see how that's different from some of the other Google Drive format documents I have here. But if I click on this again, it's going to open up that document. Again, in this extension, it's going to show us that most recent change, which you can see is there. Now, if we want to share this out, we don't have to change the format. It's very easy to share via email. So I have the document selected. I come right up here, share testimonials for OrgSpring. And I have the ability to share this out with anybody. I add an email address here. Let's just email it to myself, for example. And then we can add a note or just click send. Notify people via email. So I'll click send there. And then I'll jump over to my email. And you'll see here it's the first one listed. And it comes over just like this, a nice little box telling us this is the document, docx format, and then we can go ahead and just click open. And you'll notice it comes up. Now this is showing us the compatibility view right here. It's showing us the Word document. You'll see the changes that we made. The way you open this is just by saying open in Google Docs. Now this is a little bit confusing because you're not actually opening it in the Google Doc format. You'll notice it's loading the Chrome extension and again, opening it directly in the docx format. And just to confirm that we are still only editing one file, the same file. We're not copying additional 
documents into our drive, we will go back over to our drive and you will notice there is only one document here, testimonials for OrgSpring. So we're still working on that same document. Now I want to show you one more file type. I'm going to go in and do an Excel file. So let me show you that very quickly. I will pull up Excel. And I'll show you a quick document that I was working on here. This is Microsoft Excel. Again, I'm working on a Mac. Yours might look slightly different if you're working on a PC. I have a, a relatively simple table here with a few months and then some different colors with a chart of numbers. And then in a second tab, I have the chart and the chart corresponds to data here. So this is a dynamic chart. You'll see here if I change November from 25 to 125 and then I link over, you'll notice that data has changed. So then I'll go just back and change that back just for the sake of keeping these numbers. So you'll see there. So what I'm going to do is, I've already saved this file on my desktop and I will go back into Drive. So let's just close out this Microsoft Word file. I'm back in Drive. I will click New. I will click File Upload. And then on my desktop, you see this file here, WorkSpring Excel. And it's uploading here. You'll notice the Excel file, WorkSpring Excel.xlsx. That's the most recent Excel version. It pulls up the Chrome extension and it is allowing me to edit this directly right here. So you see the information, the table. And then in the second tab, you will notice the chart. And again, this information is linked up directly. If I come over here and I change this to 125, you'll notice that updates here as well in the chart. So uh, this corresponds exactly and it allows you to edit it. Now, there are a lot of functions that Excel has. It's a, a very good Excel or it's a very good spreadsheet program. Some of that functionality will not be available to you while you're editing here, but most of the main functionality will make its transfer. Again, all the changes are saved automatically. You do not need to go in in your compatibility mode and save this or change it. If you do want to collaborate with somebody and have them work on the same document at the same time, you would need to save this as a Google Sheet. But other than that, you could do the same things that we did with the Word document, sharing it with your coworkers or with anyone for that matter and letting them edit it directly. You can also open it directly from uh, Google Drive or open it directly from your email uh, directly into Google Drive. This can also be done with PowerPoint slides. Those are the three formats right now that are accepted. Now there are one, a few things to note uh, in terms of size limits. There are some size limitations for which this can be done. If you're working on documents uh, and you're using the new version of Google Drive, you cannot work on a document that is larger than 50 megabytes in size. Uh, that's a huge document, obviously. Um, if you're working on the older version of Google Drive, then your size limit is 10 megabytes. When you're working on spreadsheets or Excel files, you're going to be limited to Excel files with a 400,000 cell limit. And the maximum columns you could have that's going across like this are 256 columns. The largest size spreadsheet you can do is 100 megabytes. So we're talking about a huge, huge file there, obviously. So it needs to be under 400,000 cells and under 256 columns. In terms of your presentations or your PowerPoint files, it needs to be under 100 megabytes. Um, and if you're trying to convert that to Google Slides, it needs to be under 50 megabytes. So those are the types of files that, that you can do. If you do have files that are close to those limits, you can try to reduce them or compress them inside the document. That's possible using some of those formats. So uh, I hope you understand a little bit more about this new extension. Again, uh, click in the description of the video or link over to the post and you can click on the button that will take you directly to download the extension. Again, you'll need to be using Google Chrome, but this is a great step forward by Google in in terms of adding functionality that makes it more in line with Microsoft Office products. It will give you the ability to edit Microsoft Office products directly in your browser without needing Office software. It's a real fantastic piece of software from Google that goes a long way in terms of helping you reduce your cost and uh, possibly even existing without needing Microsoft Office if, if you're an organization that can buy just with using Google Docs uh, like we do. Even though we do maintain copies of Office, uh, we exist almost wholly inside Google Apps for work ourselves. So if you have any questions, leave a comment either here in the video or in the post and we'd be happy to help you out.